every ride. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Dre, this is the casual beast for the average gamer. Got some uh, juicy information for you. This is regarding Battlefield 4. Um, an article came out today um, about Battlefield 4, and one of the things that I found interesting, and I wanted to get the community's uh, feeling on it, is the fact that uh, in this article, they talk about how uh, Battlefield 4 is supposed to release sometime in November of this year using the frostbite 2.5 engine blah 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 okay but here's the kicker um along with pc it's going to release battlefield should ship on current generation consoles playstation 3 and xbox 360 along with next generation consoles uh playstation 4 and the next xbox 720 or whatever but the key to that is it says current gen platforms will once again only be able to support 24 players Excuse me, while the next generation consoles and the PC will support up to 64 players. Next generation consoles are said to run Battlefield 4 in 720p resolution at 60 frames a second. Now with that information, what I'm throwing out to you, the community, is what are you going to buy Battlefield 4 on? Are you going to go ahead and get a next gen console? Because if you buy it for PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360, you're stuck at 30 frames and uh, 24 players total still. Nothing's going to change with that. But the next generation consoles, the PS4 version and the Xbox 720 or whatever version, are going to be a lot like PC. 60, up to 64 players. It's going to run at 60 frames. It's going to run in true HD. So I think that might sway a lot of people's decisions if they are going to buy Battlefield 4. But I find that very interesting because um, you're going to have a, a split. You know, what I mean, some people are still going to be on the older generate, you know, older consoles, and some going to be on the new. Now, you know, you're not going to be to play against each other and whatnot. Um, I'm pretty sure they're not going to have, you know, people on Xbox 720 playing at 60 frames and you know whatever and then people still at 30 trying to play in the same room that's just that's not fair that's not going to work so it's obviously going to be separate servers you know blah 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 but what are you going to do what are you going to get it on um you know whatnot uh so that's the question man and uh you know it, we, they have a uh you know thing coming up here where they're going to announce the game and give you a little bit of a teaser about it the public reveal on the 27th but I don't expect to hear much. But uh, this is interesting news, man, because I was wondering about this. I, I, you know, if they put it out on new gen, next gen consoles the same time as old gen, you know, what are people going to do if, if there's a gap in the hardware as far as the game? And we see now there's going to be a big gap. It's going to be double the frame rate. It's going to be more than double the players. You know, I mean, almost triple the players available. So that puts people in a pickle, you know, are you going to go ahead and make that leap, buy that next gen console, you know, for it, or are you going to stick with the PS3, Xbox, you know, uh, 360 for a little while longer and just deal with the 30 frames at 12, 24 people total or whatever. So, um, you know, we'll see, man, but uh link is in the description about the article, um, and uh, let me know in the comment section which way you're going to go if you're going to buy Battlefield 4. Because that is a big difference. You know, it doesn't affect the PC guys. It's, it's already, you know, set the way that is. But uh, let me know what you're going to do. I'll holler. Peace.